Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. And just for you, crew, thanks for stopping by. Yesterday, didn't vlog again uh, because it was uh, my daughter's. Oh, we got a we got an alarm going off. That's to remind me to change the laundry. I think I have to hit. There we go. Nice. So I have to remember to do that just after I finish talking to you. So uh, it was my daughter's 20th birthday yesterday. So we all got up probably around 1030. And uh, then we all went to have lunch at J&Y Panda up in Alcona. You might remember that from my big channel. That's my one of my favorite lunches for my birthday. And it turns out now is one of my daughter's favorite places to have her birthday dinner or lunch and she chose lunch and uh, then after that we went down picked up Leah in Bradford and continued down to Newmarket and watched Moana which is that uh, Disney animated feature with Dwight Johnson and uh, first or second movie ever uh, the girl who played it I can't pronounce her name and uh, I guess she's Hawaiian so and she has a, a Hawaiian name difficult to pronounce for me so absolutely fantastic movie if you love Disney movies this is one of the things as somebody who loves animation and computer animation uh, they have just nailed water <laughs> to a T nowadays it's just like it looks like they videotaped the ocean in most of these scenes. Uh, same with hair. They're getting hair perfect. Uh, I remember when they first took the task on to do Monsters, Monsters, Inc. And they said, well, Sully is going to be all blue, hairy monster. And they're like, why does it have to be hairy? Because hair is extremely hard for computers to render. So, uh... So ever since then, all the way up to now, this keep getting better and better computers, better and better software to make hair and stuff so mo so much more real. Uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson's character is called Maui, and he's a demigod, and uh, he's got this really cool frizzy hair, and it's frizzy and stuff all the time. And of course, he he's totally into himself, and uh, the character is, and. Uh, and there's a funny chicken in it. He's he plays comic relief th through uh, pretty much the whole movie. It's a total go out and get it now. I like music in movies, but when they break into song, uh, as I get older, I'm not. I don't know. There's something about it that kind of bothers me a little bit. I'm not sure if you're the same way. I know other people. Uh, I've talked to other people in the past who can't stand any type of breaking break into song and it's funny at one point in the movie the girl is talking and it's almost like she's going to break into song and uh maui dwayne johnson's character is like if you start singing i'm going to throw up <laughs> and it's and it's funny because i think disney understands that too uh but they make so much money off the the sale of the movie or or i guess the go to the theater sales and then the sale of the movie on dvd or download or whatever uh and then the cd for the song or the music they make lots of money on that and of course all the paraphernalia and the, and the merchandise and all that stuff so i i get it and musicals do raking money so and I, and it would be so it'd be kind of fun to watch a movie like that like like um, what was it? Uh, Monsters Inc. You know, that wasn't a musical. It was a, it was an animated feature from beginning to end, and nobody broke into song at any time in the middle of it. So they can do it, and and I totally get why they do musicals. But uh, it would have been, I guess, it was okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna digress. This particular movie definitely needed the music stuff in it. It was fun to listen to, but it almost. To me, it almost dragged it out. And none of the songs, to me, were super catchy, I don't think. Uh, I didn't find myself tapping my foot through any one specific. Um, There's maybe one song, I just can't remember off the top of my head, uh, that was somewhat catchy, but not... It wasn't like, I don't know if you remember, um, The Little Mermaid. You know, when, when Sebastian sang his Calypso song, everybody loved that right away. Uh, and Beauty and the Beast... Be my guest. You know, some of those are super hit songs right off the right off the top, and uh, but in this one just didn't. None of the songs caught my ear very well. Anyway, so and that's what we did. And then we came back here, and uh, my daughter and I decided to 
uh, pull up the big table and put it right in front of the TV where Sonny is and uh, build a puzzle while we watched, uh, I guess, the last installment of uh, Car uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So we did this puzzle of Canada. It was only 300 pieces and they're quite, quite large pieces. So yeah, that's what we did last night. And uh, so that's all we did yesterday. Just wanted to make sure you guys are all caught up and I and, uh, don't want you guys to miss out on anything. And uh, today, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I watched a couple of videos on how to clean your keyboard properly. Obviously got to do some laundry. I was trying to fix the kitchen sink because it's not spraying perfectly straight down. It's kind of shoot, excuse me, shooting off on an angle. So there's like sediment in there. So I had to take it out. Uh, put it into a cup of vinegar. I'm not sure if you guys know this. Vinegar is great for dissolving calcium. So that's it right there. As you can see, there's little flakes of uh, orange in there. And that's, um, I guess, like kind of rust deposits. So our water over time will rust things. Uh, not, not rust things, but it leaves that um, tannins. That's what it's called, I believe. So, and you put it in vinegar and the vinegar will eat the tannins uh, sediment that sticks to things. Anyway, oh, oh, spilt it. Now I'm gonna smell like onion rings. Oh, no, I want onion rings. All right, so there you go, guys. I hope you uh, don't mind this little update. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna be putting um, a scheduled live show up. So I'll go live at specific times throughout the week and there will be an actual set schedule and I will keep to that set schedule. I'm just trying to find the best times to do that um, because there are days where like every day isn't my day. So like some days Carl comes by. So I have to kind of work that into the mix and uh, maybe have surprise uh, live shows where I just go live whenever I want to and then have a, a few set ones where I know these are the days and times that I go live so you guys don't miss a show um, or right, I'm right in the middle of, like right now, if I went live right now, some, some people would be, oh man, I'm, I'm busy right now, I can't go watch it, so. But if you knew that there was a time, then you might not be busy at that time because you might schedule your own time to watch the live show. Anyway, so I'm working on that. That's one of the things I've been thinking about all yesterday and today. And right now it is just quarter after one. And uh, obviously today, being Saturday, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of vlogging, but uh, I'll try and find something for you. <laughs>